Details tonight in the deadly shooting at a school in Nashville. Today we learned the suspect brought uh, bought seven guns legally over the past few years and then hid them from their parents. Investigators say the suspect was born female but identified as a transgender male online and targeted the institution itself but not necessarily any of the individual victims. And new video tonight shows body camera footage worn by two officers as they approached and killed the suspect in yesterday's Nashville shooting. The deadly assault took the lives of three nine-year-old students and three adults. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis joins us now live in the studio. And Morgan, this video, pretty difficult to watch. Yeah, Brian, it really is. And we want to give our viewers a warning that we are going to show parts of it and some might find the video disturbing to watch. After the Uvalde school shooting, officers' response to these tragedies has been under the microscope. Today, I spoke with a 40-year law enforcement veteran who has instructed hundreds of law enforcement training academies across the Tar Heel State and has served as chief of police in three North Carolina cities. He analyzed the video and provides his unique perspective on the officer's response. Give me, give me three. Let's get three. Within a minute of Metropolitan Nashville police officers arriving on scene, Officer Rex Engelbert, wearing his body camera, has a key to the school in hand and is yelling for three more officers. Let's go! And that means that he wants to go in in a wedge formation or a diamond formation. So that way they've got somebody to the front, somebody to the left and right side, and then somebody to the rear. So you can imagine a diamond moving down the hall. Dr. Roy Taylor is the chief of police for private policing agency Capital Special Police. He says this pattern is taught across the board specifically for emergencies like this. In North Carolina we do uh, at least every other year we do rapid deployment training and we do it exactly the same way statewide so it doesn't matter if it's you know a special police officer like my team or a state trooper or a local Charlotte Mecklenburg PD cop. Everybody's trained exactly the same so they know how to become part of that integral team. The shooting happened at a private Christian school in Nashville. Private schools security measures are privately funded and may differ from other schools. Kids are all locked down but we have two kids that we don't know where they are. Okay. Okay. Yes ma'am. Police say the school did not have a resource officer, but Taylor says it appears the staff was prepared and had safety measures in place. If you look through the glass when they open a door, you'll see a thing that kind of looks like an ax with a yellow marking on it. And I believe that is a wedge device that is used. You take it off the wall, close the door, and you wedge it underneath the doorknob. And that way, if somebody tries to enter the door, they can't. The 28-year-old suspect was found and shot and killed by police on the second floor. Taylor also emphasized the importance of the same training across the board because in situations like this, it is whatever officer can get there fast enough. And that could mean all officers rushing into the school haven't trained together, but they know exactly what to do in an effort to save lives. Alicia.